my first unpopular opinion. <laughs> Wingstop Ranch is gross. Oh, oh my God, I hit the feet, they coming. They coming for me. <laughs> what you say now, what you do now. T and Lee, and we back with the crew now. Crap shrimp, and you know we review now. Cooking up all this real nice food now. What you said now, what you need now. Look on green screen HD now. Go ahead and subscribe, join the family. T and Lee is the place to be. Hola guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm doing Indian food. Hi right, child, so here's my food that I ordered from Kebab and Curry. It's my first time trying this place. It's Indian food, so I got some butter chicken, comes with basmati rice, a chicken leg tandoori, some garlic naan, and some beef samosas. So yeah, y'all, today I got some Indian food. I decided to do the Uber Eats route today. And yeah, I took a chance, y'all. I took a chance and we'll get into that later. But yeah, before I get started to the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Tinley TV because y'all y'all know it's the place to be. All right, y'all, so on the menu today, I showed y'all a little clip in the beginning of what I have. I have the beef samosas, the butter chicken, basmati rice, because that don't look like basmati rice to me and chicken tandoori and then i also have some garlic naan that i'm holding over here today and then to the side i have some um white strawberry let me see some white cranberry strawberry right sure i don't know it's the white strawberry cranberry juice <laughs> that's what i got all right y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and bless my food amen all right y'all so this was supposed to come with three beef samosas as you guys can see there's only two um so I have to let them know about that. Um, and then the the chicken tandoori, it says it comes with either rice or plain naan. But then they were telling me that I would have to order a dinner to be to get naan or rice. I don't know, but whatever. The only thing that I really was pleased when I saw was the garlic naan. Like that naan looked good. I don't know if it tastes good. Let me show you. Yeah, I was holding the bowl here. Don't that look good? It's pretty. I don't know if it tastes good, but it's real pretty. So, I wanted to put it up here, but I was just like, where am I put it at? I don't know. So that's why I was holding it up. All right, y'all, let me try this. Like, I do got some calling to do, because like I said, it's supposed to be three beef samosas, and it's only two. So, and then I did taste the sauce to this, y'all, and I was not impressed. I'm sorry, I wasn't. So let's see. Of course, I had to warm this up. Of course. I ordered this from a place called Kebab and Curry. It's in Georgia, I believe. I'm not sure if it's like in my area or just close. I'm gonna um, put where it is right here. So the sauce to me for the um, butter chicken, I've had much better, much, much better. Um, it tastes like something's missing or it's really tomatoey. But it tastes like something's missing. Like it's not seasoned as well as it could be. I don't know. Something is off. But the chicken is tender. I will say that. The rice is um, it's fragrant. But it, I don't think it's not basmati. It just looks like regular long grain rice or short grain rice. But they did add some. You can tell they put their spices in it. Whatever they put in there is fragrant. So I will say that. My beef samosas, I'm disappointed, y'all, because when I order, how many of y'all order from Uber Eats? I never do because of stuff like this, and it's too expensive for them to mess up your food all the time. The only, thing, the only reason why I did this time is because um, I had a coupon, you know, for like 40% off, and I was just using it, so...
I usually love these smosa. Oh, that's spicy. Y'all, I let them know twice on the app. Please um, include the sauce that comes with the samosas. The mint cilantro chutney or sometimes I give you another sauce, but I wanted a sauce. I, I mentioned it twice and guess what? They didn't give me no sauce. <laughs> Drop me meat. Wow, that's spicy. Woo! That's a spicy samosa. And again, with the samosa, it's spicy, but like the flavor, like. It's not seasoned really well. It's hot and spicy, but I don't know. Something missing. So here's a chicken tandoori. First time trying that. It's a leg quarter and it came with onions on it and everything. As you guys saw in the beginning, if you didn't skip past it. There it is. So let me try it. I wonder if this is authentic Indian food. I'll say that. Because this is the first time I've had Indian food that wasn't like really seasoned. Or not seasoned at all. Which is very shocking to me. Let me taste the naan. <clears throat> Getting cold. Indian food is always seasoned, usually. Wow, that's all I have to say is wow. This can't be authentic Indian. Or it just can't be. <laughs> I feel like I want to Add my seasoning to this. I got some Ola original blend here. Y'all, I'm not playing. I've never had to season Indian food, but that's what it's giving. Let's see. I wanna cut this chicken. That's crazy. That's crazy. I gotta add my seasoning to this, but wow. It shows up it out a lot. <laughs> I don't think it'll do nothing for this. Well maybe on top. <laughs> Cause it's already cooked. Mm-hmm. That's a good thing about mine. I see you in the room. You can add it before and later. 
not salty. Just good. Delicious. We are sold out of all of our smoky, but we do have some original blend left. Not very many. Almost gone, but if you want some, you better get them before I go home. Link is in the bio. A link is in the description box. <laughs> Talking about the bio, like this Instagram. Mm. But I would say that, like I said, the tenderness of this chicken is good. The flavor just not what I'm used to a butter chicken. So I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. If not, it's gonna get better, y'all. As you can see by the title, I'm gonna be doing. I'm sorry. Unpopular opinions. Mukbang style. <laughs> Mukbanger style. Y'all know we eat, do food reviews, cook, everything food, mainly, or food related. So, I wanted to do an unpopular opinion mukbang style. I have a few. And if y'all want to join in, y'all can give y'all opinions. Y'all might have to get this other one to leave. <laughs> it's too spicy. Still try to be careful when I eat. Yeah, I went to the dentist Monday. Today is Sunday. Still kind of scared to eat. I got feelings for the first time in my life. And I'm scared, like, I don't want to mess them up or, like, break it or, I don't know. Never dealt with it, but I read, I've been reading a lot about them. I just don't want to make them up, mess them up. And I know I was reading something that said, wait, like, like, at least a week or so before you start back eating more of the crunchy type foods and things like that. So I've been trying to stay away from stuff too crunchy. And if it is, I um, chew it really, really slow, but it still can't be too crunchy. Now I'm new to this. I actually got some butter chicken sauce in the cabinet that I just got in my, my last my last Walmart order. Put this to shame. Anyway. I'm going to give a disclaimer. <laughs> These are my unpopular opinions. Mukbang edition. This is how I feel. You may not agree. That's your, you know, you're right. But, you know, this is what I feel. And I am different from you. And you are different from me. But it's all in fun, y'all. Don't be getting offended. And if you do, that's not like a personal problem.
I'm gonna do two of them. And if you guys like these, let me know. And I'll do some more. So, I've always been the type of girl that, um, I always go with what I like. Meaning, I don't care if everybody else loves it. It's not going to make me love it because everybody else loves it. It's not going to make me want to do it because everybody else do it. If I do something, it's because I want to. It's not just because everybody else is doing it or everybody else agrees. I'm just not that type of girl at all. So, my first unpopular opinion. <laughs> Wingstop Ranch is gross. Oh, oh my God. I hit the feet. They coming. They coming for me. <laughs> they coming for me. Y'all. I'm so, 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 so sorry. No, I'm not. I'm not sorry. But to the people, you know, everyone raves about Wingstop Ranch. How good it is. It's the best ridge ever. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All that stuff or whatever. And I just don't understand. Like, I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't know why people rave about it. It's like, I'm not like a... I'm a ranch girl and a blue cheese girl. I like both. But, um... I, I just don't understand. I, I like a certain type of ranch, and that's just not it. It's flavorless to me. It has no flavor. It has a glue-type pasty. It's not It's not pasty, but like, you know, that glue smell, that's what it smells like to me. Elmer's, the white glue, it smells like that, and it's so runny. Like, why is it so runny? Like, is this ranch, or is this... What is this? <laughs> I don't know, like, but have y'all ever noticed that for real, that, like, and sometimes they're blue cheese, too. Why is Wingstop stuff so watery, like, runny, their sauces? The the ranch and the blue cheese. I don't get that. But, I'm not, like, the biggest ranch connoisseur. I only eat ranch. On chicken wings, if I do eat it, I don't eat it on salad or whatever. That's another one. Ranch don't go on salad, but I ain't gonna go there today. <laughs> but I'm not a biggest the biggest ranch connoisseur, but my husband is. He loves ranch. And even he don't like it. And he a ranch person. He was like, mm mm. He was like, this not good. Y'all, it's just not good. I don't understand the hype. <laughs> I'm laughing because I can see CJ coming for me. Because <laughs> he loved that ranch. I don't know why, but I've tried it. I'm going to try it again. No. Now, I will say, one day I might try it one more time. Three times might be the charm, but y'all, baby, I don't like it. When I go to Wingstop, I get blue cheese. <clears throat> Every time, I love their blue cheese. So the people that get Wingstop Ranch, have you ever tried their blue cheese, or do you just not like blue cheese? Because if you don't like blue cheese, you don't like it. Uh, am I the only blue cheese girl? I know somebody with me. Somebody got to be with me. Or do you get like honey mustard? Because the last time I went, she was like, ranch, blue cheese, or honey mustard. I was like, honey mustard? Mm. Maybe people get that. Fun, right? All right. So.
So for my second unpopular opinion for this video, ooh, ooh, now I had already posted this already. And y'all, did I ruffle some feathers? <laughs> I ruffled some feathers, I ruffled some feathers. I just did. I wasn't trying to. I was just giving my opinion. Mm. Drop my napkin. But it is what it is. If I'm looking in the wrong place, I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know where I'm supposed to look because I'm on my phone again. <laughs> but y'all, the second popular opinion is Unpopular. That's unpopular. Opinion is red velvet cake is nasty. <laughs> Y'all, I posted a reel on um on Facebook about this, and then I posted uh I posted uh, a TikTok about it. Y'all, I said what I said. It's nasty. What even is red velvet cake? What is it? Chocolate cake is chocolate. White cake is like vanilla. Strawberry cake, strawberry. Lemon cake, lemon. What flavor is red velvet? What is the flavor? Red velvet tastes like blank. Nasty. <laughs> but I'm really curious, like, what's the flavor of red velvet cake? And if it's its own flavor, why do people put cocoa powder in it? Like, what is the cocoa powder for? I know it's not much in there, but every red velvet curd recipe I've ever seen calls for cocoa powder. Like a little, like a, I don't know how much, but like a small amount. So I'm like, is it a red chocolate cake? Like, what is it? I like nothing about it. Like, nothing. <clears throat> it has like, do you know how like, to me, this is how I can describe it. It has a zing to it. Like, you eat it and there's a zing. Like, ew. like a, a tint, like a zing. Like, what is that zing? It makes me believe like, you ever had like a, a birthday cake? with um with red writing or red decorations and you taste it and that zing is there or it's not even a zing usually when it's an icing it's just nasty it's like a really nasty unpleasant off-putting taste and it's just like it's the same thing because people when you make red velvet you use red food dye correct uh most people i know i don't know how else you make red velvet without using red food dye but um i'm pretty sure that's one of the ingredients in there and I don't like that dye and I don't, I just don't get it. I don't get the cake. I don't get the point. Is it because it looks pretty? Maybe. Oh, it look pretty, red velvet, it's pretty. It does look kind of cool, kind of. I guess you could say it looks kind of pretty looking. If you look at it, I just don't like the way it tastes. Okay, get on here. I don't know. So I'm about to leave down below. What is does red velvet cake taste like? What is it supposed to taste like? I don't get it. What flavors do you get from it? I guess you could say. Or some people are gonna be like, they don't taste like anything. I can't compare it. Well, what flavors do you get out of it? Cause I don't like nothing about it. I said it, pal. You able to breathe the heart. And then they'll put cream cheese icing on it. I do not like cream cheese icing at all. And then to top it off, they put pecans on it. I do not like pecans. 
So nothing about it is pleasing to me. I just don't like it. That's just something I just don't think I would ever like. I don't care if you make it. I don't care if your grandmammy make it. I don't care if the world's best chef makes it. I don't like it. Like, one thing about me, I've been growing for a long time now. <laughs> and I know what I like and I don't like. And like, you know, I know people... Like, one thing that, like, I, I come to know that it, it's a, like a bit of a pet peeve of mine is when I tell somebody I don't eat something, and then they say, well, you ain't tried mine. I don't care if it's yours, if it's hers, or if it's his. I don't like it. I'm adult enough to know I don't like stuff, and I'm not going to try yours. I just don't like it. It's certain things that, you know, people, you know, you can be like, well, I've had that before, and I didn't care for it. And then you can... And people will be like, well, try mine and see if you like it. And you can try theirs and you may not like theirs either. Or you may. That can be a case of something. But with certain things, you just know that you know that you know without a shadow of a doubt that you don't like. It doesn't matter who prepares it. So I don't know why people do that. Be like, well, you ain't tried mine. That's because you ain't had mine yet. Girl, what are you even talking about? <laughs> I don't care whose it is. I don't. If I don't like something, I don't like something. When people tell me. They don't like something. I'll be like, for real? You know, if I don't understand it, I'll be like, mm, girl, but I love it. That's just going to be it. I'm not going to tell them. Oh, excuse me. It's because they ain't tried mine yet. Because, I mean, people typically know what they eat and they don't eat. So, just leave it alone. Y'all how I feel. I'm making a mess back here. I'm dipping this in here. Ooh, shoot. It's not a lot of flavor. Dropping stuff, making a mess. But yeah. Those are my two unpopular opinions. Now y'all don't come for me. Just let people have a difference in opinion, okay? Because there's some stuff that I love and I know people probably be like, what? Uh, oh, no, girl. You know what I mean? It just is what it is. I just be like, well, I love it. <laughs> You know what I mean? So, this is fun, and it's interesting. It's engaging, and i like to know some of y'all opinions about certain stuff. I want y'all to participate down below, and then I also want you guys to leave me a comment. Let me know if y'all want me to continue this series of unpopular mukbang opinions or unpopular opinions mukbang edition. <laughs> So, that's it and that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I do wish my um, Indian food experience was a little bit better than this, but it is what it is. I took a chance and it just turned out the way it turned out. But I will be contacting them because they owe me a samosa. All right, y'all. So, um, like I said, again, leave your comments down below. Let me know some of your unpopular mukbang opinions. Y'all, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, like I said before. And I hope that if it isn't, your day gets better. I really, really hope so. So, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. I will see you guys in the next video.